Hi guys, welcome to Everything Blockchain. In this particular series, we'll be covering a lot of terms that are thrown around in the Web3 space, all under five minutes. Yes, well, that is the goal. So without further ado, let's begin with today's topic. I'm sure all of you have come across terms like layer one and layer two protocols that have got you curious about what these layers are and why they even exist in the first place. If you lack knowledge, it is very easy to get confused, but by the end of the video, here's hoping it'll become easier for you to understand the overall structure and architecture. Also, now would be a good time to tell you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Back to L1s and L2s. Both are strategies designed to make blockchain networks faster and more accommodating to a rapidly growing user base. Layer 1 refers to the underlying blockchain. Layer 1 blockchains can essentially validate and finalize transactions without the need for another network. Examples include Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. A common problem, however, with Layer 1 networks is their inability to scale. Bitcoin and Ethereum in particular have been struggling to process transactions in times of increased demand. This is where L1s come into play. So L1 protocols or solutions add utility to a native blockchain to optimize performance and it is for this reason they are also referred to as on-chain scaling solutions. For layer 1 scaling, options include modifying the block capacity, block generation time, the consensus mechanism and other inherent properties of the blockchain that will increase the trading capacity. Sharding also comes under layer 1 scaling. Ethereum's transition to Serenity or Ethereum 2.0 marks its shift from an energy-intensive proof-of-work consensus mechanism to the more efficient proof-of-state consensus mechanism. So that is another consensus protocol improvement which is a layer 1 solution. But the entire Ethereum 2.0 is actually a combination of L1 and L2 solutions. So let us now understand what L2s are. Layer 2 is complementary to Layer 1 in that Layer 2 is essentially an infrastructure built on top of the underlying blockchain all to solve the transaction speed and the scaling difficulties that these L1s face. Layer 1s focus on security and decentralization whereas Layer 2 focuses primarily on scalability. L2s are third-party protocols that integrate with an underlying L1 to increase transactional throughput. Common types of L2 include plasma, state channels, and rollups. So back to the Ethereum network, rollups are currently the preferred L2 solution for scaling Ethereum. They enable hundreds of transactions to be offloaded and processed on L2 only to be bundled up or you can say rolled up into a single transaction that is sent back to layer 1 for posting. So the transactions are processed on layer 2 which greatly reduces the transactional burden on L1 and distributes the L1 transactional fees across everyone in the rollup, making it cheaper. Rollups inherit the security of Ethereum. There are two types of rollups, optimistic rollups and zero knowledge rollups. That's it for today guys. The blockchain ecosystem today consists of several L1 networks and L2 protocols. In our next video, we shall elaborate on sharding and other L1 solutions. I really hope you got a grasp of what these terms actually mean. I'll be back. Take care. Bye.